people gave me weird stares in the cinema where I worked, but it was because I stared at them. I mostly looked at pretty girls and fantasized about being with them. I looked at couples, imagining myself as the boyfriend. At home, after work, I scrolled the internet, looking at all the beautiful girls and happy couples. One night, there was a complaint about me from one of the customers saying that I was strange and looked unstable. My manager was a nice older lady with good intuition. She knew that I wasn't harmful. She eventually figured out that I craved romantic companionship, so she told me to download a dating app. I downloaded the dating app and used it after work. Days and weeks went by as I obsessively scrolled and scrolled through the pictures, seeking a partner, but nobody seemed interested. A month later, I got a reply from a very beautiful girl. My heart raced as I opened her message and read it once, read it twice, and read it thrice. Only then it sank in. She told me that I was ugly, a low-life boring creep, and that I wasn't going to get anywhere in life. She said that I was delusional to have messaged her, that I was absolutely nowhere near her level. The next night, at work, I could barely focus on anything. My manager, the nice lady, figured out that I was troubled, so she told me to take a rest whenever I wanted. I took a seat in one of the cinema halls where the last show had ended half an hour ago. I sat there alone, doing absolutely nothing but thinking. I wasn't looking at pretty girls and happy couples with their good lives on the internet. There was only me, sitting in the sea of vacant seats, deep in thought. The longer I sat there, doing nothing, the more I understood myself. There were things about me that had to change, and only now I knew that I couldn't do that by scrolling the internet or staring at girls. I left work that night feeling better about myself than I ever have.